All right, welcome to lesson 12, where I'm gonna show you a shortcut version of the if-else statement. This is still flow control, so I'm just gonna show you a quick way to do an assignment based on an if-else condition. Just like we had before, where if the valve was open, I assign one valve, I'll show this to you <laughs> real quick. Let me get out of the way here and show you. Here's a variable called valve open. It has a Boolean value of true. Then we have an open status. This is the old way of writing. This is the way I would have done it if I didn't know about this ternary operator. And you don't have to use this, but this is a, a standard construct that is available in JavaScript. And I want to make sure that you're comfortable with looking at it at least so you know what you're looking at. If valve is open, again, this is a shortcut for equals equals true, but I'm a lazy programmer, so I don't write that. And then I'm going to assign open status a string value of open. Otherwise, I'm going to assign it as closed. This could really be over here because it's not part of that else. And if I run this, it says valve is currently whatever open status string is based on that. So it's true, I should get open. And when I run that, it says the valve is currently open. And if I change this to false and run that, it will say the valve is currently closed. Good for status check. So what's this miracle shortcut that I tell you about? This is called the ternary operator and it looks like this. Here is the same chunk of code condensed, the if, else, assignment, the whole thing, variable declaration, all squashed down into one statement. And the construct is, I declare my variable, and I'm going to assign it the value valve open. If valve open is true, if anything in these parentheses is true, could be any expression, not just a simple Boolean variable, then I'm going to run, I'm going to get the value from the first parameter. The, whatever's right after the question mark, between the question mark and the colon, is going to be what I'm going to assign. That's going to be the if part, and then the else is everything after the colon. So it almost looks like a question. Is valve open? Oh, good. Then use the open. If valve isn't, then use closed. Very easy to use. Now you know what a ternary operator looks like. And then, of course, I will print whatever open status string got for that. When I run this script, it will say the output from number one is valve is currently closed. The output for number two is valve is currently closed. Somehow I got an extra colon in there. Let's fix that up just for beautification. If I change this to true, then of course the first one using the traditional if else will say open. And the second one using the ternary operator will also say open. Hooray, we've got a ternary operator in use. Why and where would I use this? Well, consider the case where you may get a string and want to convert it to a Boolean. So if I were to use a Boolean variable or a string variable called var is open string, and it says true, okay, because that is a string. Rather than saying if is open string equals true, then let's output something and say this is open. All right? But Chuck, didn't you just say you could do away with this for a Boolean variable? That's not a Boolean variable, that's a string variable. Okay. If I were to try this, let me, let me copy this in its entirety and then take you up on that theory. What happens when I do that? It is going to say, this is open. What happens if I say F-A-L-S-E and run it? It says, this is open because this is a non-null, non-zero, non-false value. It is called a falsy value, truthy and falsy. We'll get into that. So I have to, for strings, type the equals equals true to make this work. It says, this is open and this is false. This is very similar to what you get back. When it's false, it doesn't print anything because I don't have an else. This is very similar to what you get when you get system properties. They only return string values, but you may need to turn those into something else. Even if the type of the variable is Boolean, it was set with a checkbox on a properties page. It's still gs.getProperty gives you a string variable. So you may be misled. This is one of those, hey, am I getting the right thing? Well, there, there, I showed you earlier where there's a parse int and a parse float to turn a string into a number. No such thing exists for Booleans, but you can use a ternary operator like this and say, var is open equals, 
is open string equals true, then return a true, otherwise return a false. And now the rest of my conditions, wherever I want to use that, can actually use a Boolean as a Boolean was intended. Less typing, a little more on the front end because I need to use this, but a lot less here to say, hey, is that variable? And it even makes my thing look a little cleaner. If I run that, it says nothing because it's currently F-A-L-S-E, but if I change it to true, it runs and says, hey, it's open. I have converted a Boolean string to a Boolean value very easily using the ternary operator. So that's one possible use case you might look at using. All right, join me for the next one where I take another example of is if, else if, else if, else if, else if, else, and turn that into a much cleaner, easier to read construct. So join me in lesson 13 for that. I'll see you right there.